Have you ever spent hours searching through your files looking for that small information that you know lives somewhere? I know I have and I know you have too. What if there was a giant control F that lets you search through that files instantly? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that using Notebook LM. Whether you are a student studying for an exam or a working professional working on a big project, Notebook LM is for you and you need to watch this video till the end because in this video, I'm going to share five ways you can start using Notebook LM today to make your life 10 times better and more productive. Notebook LM is a Google AI tool that lets you organize and refine your ideas by providing personalized AI collaboration. Think of it like a personal assistant, but somebody who is really well versed in your space and knows everything about you, the ideas that you have thought through and everything. The official definition of Notebook LM is that Notebook LM is Google's Gen AI tool that lets user organize and refine their ideas using an AI collaborator. It's basically having a personal assistant powered by AI and powered by historical data and knowledge that you have. Still not getting the hype? Actually, you're not alone. A lot of people don't fully understand the capability of Notebook LM and how powerful it is, which is why I'm creating this video to show you five real life use cases, real life examples that you can use starting today. Number one, hands down my favorite use case is creating a study guide. Let's say you were a student studying for an exam. You have full semester of notes that you need to swift through to understand specific concepts. This is where Notebook LM is going to change your life forever. Like, I'm not kidding. It is literally life-changing. I wish I had access to Notebook LM when I was a student. I am actually really happy because I have access to Notebook LM when I'm doing interview preps because interview preps require a lot of study. So on that note, I actually did use it recently while I was preparing for data science interviews. For example, I have all of these notes that I've written down over the years to prepare for concepts such as statistics, machine learning, Python, SQL, uh, experimentation, product metrics, and whatnot. I have all these notes dozens and dozens of pages. Every time I have to prepare for an interview, I go through this. But then there is some last minute questions that I start thinking of and I don't know where exactly which page of those 100 pages that information lives. So what I did, I imported all my files into Notebook LM, created a data science interview study guide and asked specific questions. For example, I was preparing for experimentation. What do you do when there is bias in your experiment? What are some specific statistic strategies that you need to use? So I was counting on my fingers. Okay, I can use this, I can use this. And then I got stuck. Because I imported all my files into Notebook LM, I was able to find that information on my fingertips just by typing one sentence and entering. I wanted to refresh my concepts on seven steps for A-B testing, and I forgot one of the steps, and that's, this is where Notebook LM came in super, super handy because I just entered, can you help me understand what are the seven steps of experimentation and A-B testing? And in split second, it literally swift through all my notes and was able to summarize all the seven steps that are needed for experimentation and A-B testing. And that's how I was able to refresh my data science interview skills. And this is just one use case that I'm telling you. There are so many other use cases that you can use this tool to whether learn a new concepts, refresh your existing material, study for an exam, study for something else, whatever you may need. This is teachers and students master. This is a tool that I can see a lot of students and teachers using on a regular basis. And you should be using if you're not using yet. And if you're liking this video so far, make sure to give this video a like and let me know in comments what are your thoughts on Notebook LM so far. Okay, number two is hands down my favorite. My favorite, 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 because I haven't seen a lot of Gen AI tools do that. You can literally create a podcast that sounds so real that it will blow your mind. The first time I heard a podcast generated by Notebook LM, I was blown away because as a creator, I know how much work it is to create a podcast and Notebook LM was able to create that in like split seconds, a few clicks, and five minutes later, there is a real sounding podcast that is actually teaching me stuff. Let me actually show you an example. I recently developed this learn to code with ChatGPT ebook in partnership with HubSpot. 
So I wanted to turn this into a podcast. It has over 35 pages packed with values specifically focusing on Python, specifically focusing on Python roadmap, and is absolutely free to download. Before I give you the demo, feel free to download this ebook and create this podcast along with me. So I uploaded the ebook to Notebook LM because I wanted to create a podcast on specifically how to code with ChatGPT or other generative AI tools such as Gemini and how to like use it for coding and learning to code, specifically like generating roadmap, generating code, like how to organize your learning material and whatnot, and which this ebook specifically covers. But I wanted to see if I can turn it into a quick podcast. And after I uploaded this file to Notebook LM, it literally generated a 10 minute podcast voiced on the ebook. And the best part is it's actually very, very helpful. I mean, listen to this podcast for like 30 seconds. So you're thinking about learning to code. That's fantastic. It's a really valuable skill to have these days. But yeah, I get it. It can feel like there's just so much out there. Where do you even begin? Well, the good news is that there are more resources than ever. And on top of that, we're at this really interesting point where AI can actually help us learn in ways that just weren't possible before. Right. It's like having this whole new set of learning tools. After listening to this podcast, you actually understand the concepts much, much better. And I actually did a similar exercise with a SQL 101 podcast, and it was so good. This is hands down my favorite use case for Notebook LM. It's just fun to create podcasts. And whether you are like a content creator or you're a teacher trying to teach specific concepts to your students, you can create a podcast. Or if you really want to impress coworkers at work, you can actually create a podcast, which I did do at work on a specific project that I'm working on. And you can just share it for fun. I mean, it's cool to like listen to all the work that you have done and have other people discuss it in a podcast form. I mean, there are so many use cases for the podcast, but I honestly, like I feel like this is great for learning if you are the type of person who learns from hearing other people's conversations. Okay, followed by the podcast, the next favorite use case on my list is having access to Notebook LM at work. I mean, imagine if you had access to Notebook LM at work, what would you do? I can tell you what exactly I would do. There are so many use cases of Notebook LM at work, specific use cases that me and my coworkers have specifically tried. Number one is creating onboarding guide. Let's say there is a new hire that is getting onboarded and there are so many documents that there exist you can literally create a new hire onboarding guide using Notebook LM and basically hand it to that new hire for like quick access to information. Because now they have a giant control F on all the learning materials for a new hire. The second example, which is one of my favorite one, I'm currently working on a big project. Okay, the project is so big that this has been in progress for months. There are multiple documents attached to this project. The first launch is going to be in US. After this US launch, there's going to be a launch globally. So there's a lot of documentation. There are so many different teams involved, so many different stakeholders involved. So after the US launch, the global teams are going to start picking up the learnings and the documents that my team has created, and they're going to start learning from it and implementing and launching the project in their region. I ended up creating a notebook LM on that big project, and there are like 20 different docs that are linked to this project. Now, when it is time to scale globally, I'm going to give the global teams access to that notebook LM so they can quickly find information, specifically if they're looking for a specific question, they can quickly find information and implement it faster. I mean, the project is so big that there are literally hundreds of pages of material of learnings and best practices and things that we need to do and we should be doing and that we plan to do. Another one of my teammates creating an A-B testing one-on-one using Notebook LM. There is already existing material, the presentations, the decks, and the documents that they combined all of them into one and created an experimentation one-on-one. So somebody who is just new to experimentation or A-B testing, they can just quickly find the information if they're specifically looking for an answer using Notebook LM, or they can listen to the podcast that it can generate in less than five minutes and learn about all about A-B testing through a podcast. It's almost like having um, like a live webinar type of thing, but on demand. Somebody Having somebody teach you, but in a different way. These are just some of the use cases that I'm able to share in this video for the sake of keeping this video short. I can give you 10 other examples, but let me know in comments, what are some other use cases that you can think of Notebook LM using in your current day-to-day -day work, especially if you're a working professional, working in tech or non-tech. Okay, this brings to number four and five, 
This one is honestly like really, really awesome. Imagine if you can import specific links or specific websites or specific YouTube videos and create a repository of knowledge based off of that. An example here I would give, for example, let's say you are trying to learn data analytics. You have a bunch of YouTube videos that have been created by creators. Obviously go watch their videos. And then you can like plug in specific videos. Let's say you like one video from uh, creator one, another video from creator two. Now you wanna create your own study guide based on all the videos that have been shared and you found really useful. Notebook LM actually lets you connect specific videos and drive knowledge from it. And you can create more than one video. And the best part is you can do the same thing with websites. Let's say you wanna stay on top of all the AI news that is coming out. You can find all the news articles, plug that in and ask it to summarize and give you top five AI news that was out today or yesterday or last week. I mean, the possibilities are endless, which is why I'm so excited for Notebook LM because it's unique and there are so many other tools that exist on generative AI, but what Notebook LM is doing, nobody else is able to do, which is what makes it unique. And the best of all, it is free. It is free. Yes, it is free. And also it goes without saying, be respectful of other people's work. It's very easy to plagiarize whenever you're using generative AI tools. So make sure that you're giving credit where credit is due. For example, if you create some study material using some YouTube videos, using some blogs, make sure you're giving appropriate credit to the creators, to the people, to the authors. So just be ethical. And with that, I hope today's video was helpful. I would love to know your thoughts in comments. How else would you use Notebook LM? What are some other unique use cases that I haven't covered in this video, but you see a lot of potential in? So let me know in comments. And with that, I hope you're having a beautiful day. I will see you in the next video. Bye.